and Louie just wanted to say I'm six weeks pregnant and um, if you want to be a part of my you know, all of my babies into my life then um, great, cool but if not, you know, you can always see me whenever you want, you know, but yeah, and um, you know, if you want to win things fine, but you know, just remember none of this is my fault then if you really love someone, don't let them go just don't let them go, because one day you'll let someone go that you love and you won't be able to have them back and you'll make the biggest mistake of your life and um, we're not going to have any more police anymore because I've got the universe of person called Children in Need and she's quite under love with social work and everything but you know no one's about no one's even talking about you anymore you know it's just about my welfare and stuff really and um, yeah I said to her if you ever you know start to talk to me again would we have all these police and stuff again and she couldn't you know guarantee that we wouldn't but she said hi yeah I'm not highly unlikely and um, yeah um, you don't like you know if like you still want me and stuff you know already say you'd have to move out because your daughter asked her this you know I can do it during the course or something at college and you know we'll make it work but you know if you want to move out in October and you want me to come with you I'll be more than happy to go you know at the end of the day I just want to be with you don't want anyone else to love you that's it so you know I'll respect all your decisions and everything but yeah and um but maybe if you really do honestly love me don't let me go you know, I'm not just saying that because you want me, I'm just, you know, it's a fact. If you love someone, you let them go. You might just fly away, you know, you may turn them back. Um, you said that if the, your daughter got in your way and stuff, you know, she'd be taken away, you'd end it. Um, I don't, you haven't really said what's been happening at all, really. It was like a nine minute phone call, and um, yeah, I don't really guess what's happened, really. And like, I don't even has your daughter been taken away? I just I don't know. And yeah, if she's still got a daughter, you know that that's alright in it. And you know, I just just love you, baby. And you know, if you want to end things fine, I'll let you end it. You know, but just remember, just don't forget the numbers we've had, all the times we've had. Just you know, just don't forget it. And um, but yeah, if she hasn't been taken away, you know. We'll have no more police, I'm not going to nag anymore, I'm not going to text you millions of times because you know, that was a bit silly looking back on it. Um, but yeah, you know, I've changed, you know. I mean, come on, I'm only 17 now, you know, so I'm not a little kid anymore. I used to be texting you millions of times, worried about you, thinking you're ignoring me. Not like that, no, not anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm not like. You know, these kids who just like want to run around and just like play games and stuff and not like that. You know, I just want to be able to just like, you know, snuggle down and watch a movie or something together. And give you them to the little kids as we used to do. Um, like, baby, I can't let you go. <laughs> I just can't let you go. Um, the worst mistake you even like ever make is just walking away from the person who actually stood there and waited for you. Because, you know, I've like gone out to phone boxes at two o'clock in the morning and stuff just to hear your voice, you know, just to keep me going. And I was like telling people like in college and stuff about that and they were like, Oh my god, really? And I was like, Yeah. And um yeah, apparently <laughs> I don't know if it's true, but apparently not a lot of people do that and stuff, but you know, and it's like, you know, when like my phone went and stuff, I just went to strangers just to give you a text and see if you're alright. You know, it's just the little things like that, just don't forget them. Is, you know, I'll, I'll do it all again if I had to, you know, go through all the stress again, I would, just to be with you, you know, I'd do anything for you, baby, and, um, you know, if you don't, honestly, you know, if you don't want to move out, that's absolutely fine, you know, you can move out in five years or something, it doesn't matter, we've got our whole lives, if you want, you know, um, if you take legal action to, like, my parents and stuff, you know, that's absolutely fine, it really is, you know, Think about all the stress they've got with us, that's and everything. Think about, you know, all the times they've made life difficult for us and not just have a single one. Remember the first time we met each other, they were like, Oh, you can only have an hour out and blah blah blah. But it's silly really, isn't it? But yeah, go ahead, honestly, I don't mind, I'll join in. But yeah. Um, you know when you were going about that email about Canon or something? Um 
well, honestly, I don't even like him. You know, he bullies me, touches me all the time. It's, no, I don't like him. And I guess the only reason, well, yeah, you know, you know, I think that time I did that script or something, you know, like we had to film it or something on our phones for like a project or something, and I gave him a phone. And at that time, like, it wasn't actually filmed on my phone, so someone else had to email it to me. And um, yeah, that's probably what he was doing, probably what your number and stuff. But I don't even know if he's been texting you, I don't know. Give him your number if you want. I mean, I can give um, his number to you if you want to see, but I won't give your number out to a lot of people at all. But um, yeah, um, I just don't, I don't love him. Just kind of just know that I do not love him. I love you. And that's it. I love you. That's it. I don't want him. No way. I want you. I want my life with you. I want you forever. I want to look after you when you're old and wrinkly. And when you can't sit up or you fall off a chair and your walking stick goes to the other side of the room, you know. Yeah, well, I probably wouldn't be able to get up because I'd be eating like chocolate or having a milkshake or something. But, oh my god, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, you know, I'm always, you know, I want you forever. Even like after life and stuff, I want you. So yeah, do anything for you, baby. If I could, if I could go right now up to Birmingham, I would. Trust me, I would. I'd go right now if I had the money and then I you know, I know how to get the bus up to the Ipswich train station and then apparently you go into Liverpool Street or something and then you go on Euston or something and then you get it up to Birmingham East Street, something like that. But you know, if I had the money I'd do it. I would. If you put money, say, in my account now, I would you know, I'd see you tonight. I'd make it work. Is that how much you mean to me? Yeah, I'd do anything for you, baby. But I haven't got the money, I don't know how to get it. I'm looking for jobs and stuff, and apparently I'm getting a car for my birthday or something. So when I get a license or something, I can just drive up there and just surprise you or something. Be like, hey baby, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, something like that, you know. But yeah, I'll do anything for you, babe. Um, just don't, if you do honestly, seriously, want to end it with me, because you don't love me or because you can't cope, or, you know, if, if you just want to end it, just... Don't forget me. Don't forget the memories we had, you know. Don't forget that first message you sent me on the site. You know, don't forget the first time when we met each other and, you know, when we were supposed to actually meet until we were 18 or something. Just, you know, just don't forget that first time where we were talking, like, all day and stuff and um, when you rang me up and you were like, baby, I think I'm going to see you today. And, you know, I remember when I was walking down that hill to go to that um, living park and I was talking to Livy at the time actually I remember that and I was like shaking like you know I just saw all these weird looks down the street if only they knew what I was doing <laughs> but yeah I remember talking to Livy and then got off the phone and I just stood on the corner because I didn't know what road you were going down I don't think I've ever told you that before and then I phoned you and you were like baby where are you been waiting here 10 minutes and um, I was like oh right I was like, yeah, I'm walking, but actually I was just staying, I was just waiting, so I didn't like, see you in the van drive past. That would be a bit awkward. <laughs> but no, I remember that, and it was when I was like walking around that corner. When I walked around that corner, yeah, do you remember I couldn't actually look up? I was just like looking down on the ground, and you were like, baby, look up, look up. I, I couldn't actually do it, and I looked up once, and oh, babe, at that point I didn't actually know that you were one. I looked up and I just saw this sexy man in this sexy van <laughs> with these sunglasses on and trust me, you look like 30 years old, you didn't even look your age, honestly, this is why I can get how I was actually like, lucky enough to actually have some of my life with you, you know, I remember that. <laughs> and then I walked up to you and you were out of the van and I gave you one of the biggest hugs ever. It was so tight, and then you wanted to like go to get like breathing space and stuff. And I was like, no one more. <laughs> I remember that it was about. It's a nice hug that. And then, and then we walked around to the other side of the van, and you were there with this red ball. Cause remember when I was on energy drinks all the time, and it was like the biggest red ball I ever had, or what happiest girl ever then. And that like lasted me like a whole day, and like a whole night. It was pretty cool. Oh, that was quite a nice baby. Thank you. <laughs> And then I got that necklace, didn't I? 
I'm taking it off at the moment, but I like literally every single day I wear it, every day, so I really close to my heart. Even when we're arguing when you broke up with me at the train station, I wore it. As soon as that phone call finished, I burst into tears and I just ripped that necklace as tight as I could. As tight as I could ever. You know, she went for me when um on that bench in um that park thing on the first reach hole. You sat one side, I was the other side in that first kiss to my forehead. Never forget that baby, that was special. And then when we got up together, let's go to the van. I mean, it was only, I think it was like an hour we could have together or something. It was stupid. Because the other thing, you come all that way, you don't I mean, just see me for an hour. I appreciate it, baby, everything you do. And, um, yeah. And that first kiss on the forehead, and then we walked to the van, and, you know, we did a, like, a few kisses, like, with the door open, and just, like, a car park. <laughs> we did, like, you know, a few kisses and stuff, and then... Well, I personally think it was you who started like, the actual proper kiss, but like whatever, whatever. But yeah, and that, that was like I think at that point it was the point where I knew that I was in love. The point where I was kissing my baby Lou <laughs> for the first time ever. The point where we actually still remember it now, both of us, you know. It's just the point, you know, like that and stuff, you know, in a special moment. And then when I went, I'm not kidding. That was the, I had a smile the whole way home and I was telling like Livy everything to her like, oh. And um, yeah, I was like, thank you for making me happy. Thank you for making me happy, baby. You know, I can't honestly ask for anything more. All I need is your love, that's it. You know, just a little morning text saying hello, beautiful. You know, it makes my day. <laughs> Probably sounds a bit silly, but you know, everything you do is special to me, babe. And then, oh, it's the next time then. Next time we saw each other, you know, it was like increased, it was like a few hours, an hour and a half, and God, that went quick, didn't they? You know, and then I was cold and gave him a hoodie to have, and then he said it's still had like all my delusion on when I left and stuff. Now I remember the first time I saw you, I got home, and I was just like, oh, I feel like on the door, just like thinking, oh my God, I just had like the best time of my life. And then, and then we saw each other, do you know what I mean? We were like, oh, I can't have another half an hour. She was like, no, no, no. But, yeah, I was just happy, baby. Thank you for everything. And it got to another day out, didn't it? And that was great yarn there. <laughs> it was cold that day, which was annoying, but, yeah. And then, um, got hot chocolate. That was like the best hot chocolate ever, baby. And we sat in the car, had a drive around. And the baby got horny in the car, so we had to pull over because he couldn't concentrate on the road. Um, yeah. And then we went to, and then we had like little arguments in the middle, didn't we? Which weren't the nicest thing ever. But then we went to Germany, didn't we? Do you remember that when it was like in the summer? And um, then I come out, and then I saw the van, and then these stupid police cars rolling up. It's stupid. And then, um, yeah. And then we, after that, we got in the van, had a little kiss for my baby Lou, and then off we went. And we got on the ferry, it was rocky as well, it was cold, and then we were going to go outside because he needed a cigarette. You know, I hope if you, like, if we aren't together anymore that you just actually stop, because I, well, I don't want to know my baby dead. I don't, I don't need my baby dead. But yeah, then um, I had the chips, and he made me eat even more. So I was like an elephant then. And then found out he didn't like ketchup. And I put it on anything and everything. So if we do ever go together, baby. I'm sorry, but I haven't ketchup in the house. Sorry. And um, yeah. And then what did we do? And then we went into the driver's lounge. And that was our first proper cuddle. First time I actually looked you in the eyes properly. For a good few minutes. Saying I love you. You are my life my world or do anything for you but yeah and then we both fell asleep next to each other and then we got there we went in the van had a bit of a drive around had a few burger kings did a few kiss had a shower around a load of sleeping drivers and then yeah and then yeah and then we got lost and then you're probably gonna say no we didn't get lost i didn't get lost blah 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 but, um, baby boo, you did. So, whatever I want.
and um, yeah, and then that time where we first made love to each other in a um, truck stop car park with a load of sleeping weirdos in a tiny little van when we hadn't slept for like over 24 hours at half past eight in the morning. Yeah, that was interesting. But it was special really. It's my first time too. That you've been the first kiss, the first time, everything, and that first time you're pregnant. We've got a little baby on the way, right? Yeah. And um, yeah. Baby, I love you. Don't let me go. You're gonna make a mistake. Oh yeah. If you let me go, just make sure you do a nice long goodbye text, please. It's one thing I ask. Okay. Um, oh yeah, do you remember when we were in Germany and um, I was actually trying to actually get like some decent sleep and someone went my ass to wake me up just because I wanted to drink at petrol station. I wasn't happy with that day. No, I wasn't happy with that. I don't know, because it's not funny. That, that was like, I'm never forgetting that, the time when my baby woke me up by slapping me on the ass. You could have just like kissed my cheek or something, but no, you have to slap me on the ass. Thank you baby boy. <laughs> I don't mind though. Um, oh yeah, and do you remember where we like had that ferry or something and on the way back and then we were actually trying to get to sleep and all of a sudden we had these stupid lorry drivers snoring. I swear they were doing that on purpose. I was not happy, I didn't even feel them. Oh yeah, and that time you pushed my stomach and stuff, so didn't feel well. <laughs> Thank you for that baby, it helped. You were in that little Paris scene and stuff. You know, I appreciate everything you do. If I could pay you back for it all, I would. You know, I would. But if it you know, comes to 10 years or something and I still have my head from you, I'll just go up and find you, you know, just say, just ask if you're alright, you know, if you're well, if you're happy, you know, that's all. I'll find you though, baby. You know, just to say hi, that's it. You know, you're alright, if you miss me, you know, just surprise me. <laughs> or probably end up like bursting into tears or something and then you're like, this is a huge kiss. But yeah. And, um, I just wanted to say you know, that I love you and just, don't forget me, babe. Don't forget me, you know. If I could go through it all again, you know, just to have you by my side, just to look you in the eyes, all the stress, all the arguments, everything. Oh, I would, babe. I'd do anything for you because I love you. You're one of the most sexiest, handsomest, naughtiest schoolboys I've ever known. Actually, I shouldn't say a schoolboy because you're my van driver, so a naughty van driver who gets drunk with a load of weirdos that they don't even know. I wasn't happy about that, babe. I wasn't happy. But yeah, <laughs> thank you for making me feel special, baby. I love you. You know, like, you know, I still think you'd like cream on your hands or something because that, you know, your hands are just so soft. But anyway, I'll probably be going out. I'll probably get like a little piss or something knowing you. And it's like 18 minutes. So yeah, I'll be a bit bored. <laughs> But um, I'll send you, I'll do some like songs for you and stuff like another day or something and send you all the numbers in the house. Because I've made like, wrote a few songs and I actually like in my head a plan already in them and stuff, you know, and I'll laugh. But yeah, just waiting for a text from you now. Just waiting for a beat, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you know, don't, if you do them things, don't block my email though. Because I won't send you an email and stuff, you know. Or just keep my number or something because you know just you know even if it's five years at least I, mean, I can just text you then and just say you know just to see if you're well you know if you don't like me then you know that's fine but you know at least you know that I'm still here for you I'll be here for you until like I'm 126 I'll probably be dead then but then I'll be in heaven I'll still be here for you so yeah and um, baby if I do die or something you know and you can't get in contact with me or something and you hear that I've jumped off the bridge or something don't think that I've gone because I haven't I'm in your heart I'm you know if you just like look behind you on there just give me a little air kiss you know I'm just in bank with you then you can everything will be alright okay but yeah I've still got a bit of hope that you still want me but just don't let anyone spit us up baby all that matters is you and me you know I haven't got anything against your daughter, anything against your ex nothing. I don't care that you're that age or anything, I don't care. I just, you know, I just want you to be happy. That's all. That's all I want. But yeah, you know, I'm still, 
in a bit of hope that I could see how they left it, so I just go out for a nice romantic meal, you know, and still, you know. But yeah, what I'm saying though is that if it is over and you don't want me anymore at all, just, you know, don't forget me. And just know that I'm always here for you and that I love you with all of my heart and that you're one of the most, whatever anyone tells you, okay, whatever, you'll always be one of the sexiest, handsomest, naughtiest, stunning, gorgeous men on this earth. And I'm so lucky enough to even have had you as part of my life. If you, you know, I'm still here for you, you know, I still, you know, I'm going to go out of your event and everything, you know. But just now I'm always here for you and I just wanted to thank you for being part of my life and making me feel the happiness again. You know, I'm always, you know where I live anyway, so if you miss me one day, you know, then that's fine. But anyway, you go now, okay. And just smile. Uh, and if it is over, baby, then fine. I'm always here. Thank you for making me happy and always here for you. And we could do have another second chance and that would be cool. Okay? One more chance, baby. Let's see how things go. One more chance. Do you want to for you? If you, you know, just tell me how to make things work again. And I'll see what I can do. And if, um, Oh, what was the best I ever got now? Let me think it. Um, I can't even remember what I was going to say now. Oh, yeah, I remember. But, you know, if you know, your door hasn't actually gone yet, I don't think, then, you know, I'd do anything to protect her, to protect anyone, you know, you're protective of, and, you know, I love you. Just don't forget that sign that I'm always here for you, and I love you with all my heart. Just one more chance, baby. One more chance. If not, goodbye, Simon. I'll always love you. One more chance, baby. One more chance.